Okay, so this short video is just to show uh, that the derivative of inverse sine is 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. Uh, the derivative of inverse tan is similar. So, basically the way it works is you have, you want to differentiate uh, y of x, which is inverse sine of x. And what you can do here is if you take the sine of both sides, whatever sine inverse is, sine will be its inverse. So taking the sine of both sides, sine of y of x, uh, sine will be the inverse of inverse sine, so you just get x. Then what you're going to do is consider this as an implicit curve. Um, you can just differentiate implicitly. So differentiate both sides with respect to x. Use the chain rule on sine of y of x. Because it's an outside-inside situation, the derivative of sine of x is cos of x. Evaluated the inside, which is y, times the derivative of what's inside. And the derivative of y of x, all you can say is dy dx, equal to the derivative of x, which is 1. Then dy dx is divide both sides by cos y. dy dx is 1 over cos y. To get cos y in terms of x, and where x is sine of y, either you know about uh, sine squared plus cos squared equal to 1, then you can say cos squared is equal to 1 minus sine squared of y, and then take square roots and note that sine of y is x. That's one way. Here's an alternative. Um, you've got cos of y, that means that y is an angle. Put it in a right angle triangle. Um, if I said that this is equal to a, and this was equal to b, we know that cos of y is a over 1, and of course, because that's adjacent over hypotenuse, and a over 1 is just a, so a must be cos of y, and similarly, this must be sine of y. Do a little Pythagoras here. Uh, x squared plus cos squared is equal to 1 squared, and then solve for cos of y, you find that cos of y is squared of 1 minus x squared, and you're done. So use implicit differentiation to find the derivative of inverse sine.